In today's video, we're gonna walk through assembling the wood rack, the wood rack expansion kit, and the cover. One of the keys to a smokeless fire is having dry wood, and the wood rack and cover allow you to keep your wood secure and dry. When you're assembling your wood rack, you'll notice there are three different sizes of tubing, small, medium, and large. The smallest is the connector, the medium or the horizontal, and the tallest are the vertical. There are also four corner pieces for the outside and four corner pieces for the inside. You'll start by assembling the bottom frame upside down to keep everything level and flat, and then you'll turn it over to put the four vertical tubes in. Lay out the four pieces to form the rectangle facing down and line up the corner brackets with the holes. As you're lining up the brackets, remember the feet will be facing up. You wanna have the bolt going in from the outside and the nut on the inside of the brackets. Only hand tighten the bolts at this point. You're gonna to wanna to have a little bit of flexibility to put the vertical post in at the end. There will be one extra hole on the outside corner bracket. That's to keep those vertical posts in place once they're installed, so don't worry about that at this phase. Once you've got your rectangle assembled and hand tightened, flip it over. Now, insert each of the vertical corner pieces from the top down. This is a snug fit. If it feels like it's not gonna go, just apply more pressure and rock it back and forth and they will slide in. When you're going to place the large vertical pieces in, Keep in mind that the three holes need to be on the top side. Once the vertical pieces are firmly seated in the bottom, add the one bolt in from the side. Now go around and tighten all the nuts with the included wrench. Now for assembling your wood rack expansion kit. The expansion kit works seamlessly with the wood rack and allows you to add an additional four feet of storage to your wood rack. If you already have the expansion kit, you'll be watching this all at the same time. If however you're buying the expansion kit later, you will have to disassemble one part of your existing wood rack. So we're back with the vertical posts out and the rectangle is upside down on the ground. Keep in mind that the wood rack with the extension kit, the outside four corners are identical to a normal wood rack. It's just in the middle that you have a bridge piece. It's a larger bracket that connects to both of the horizontal pieces coming from both sides. So all four pieces coming together and merging in the middle and then one small connector piece in between those two. Line up all the holes with the brackets and once again, have your bolts coming in from the outside and nuts on the inside. Once you're done, you'll have two rectangles that are connected together into one long rectangle. Flip that over so the feet are down and then take your six posts, vertical posts, and go one at a time. Once again, this can be a snug fit. If it doesn't look like it's gonna go, apply more pressure and wiggle and it will slide in. Now go around with the included wrench and tighten everything up. The Brio wood rack cover takes your wood rack to another level by providing protection from the elements, keeping your wood nice and dry. The cover goes on easily from the top. There's four sleeves on each corner that slide onto the vertical tubes of the wood rack itself. Once you've slid the vertical posts into the four sleeves of the cover, you'll also notice that there's a hook that goes in to the vertical posts on the outside. This is connected to a strap that you can tighten and cinch down the cover on the wood rack. On the end flaps of the cover, you'll notice a Velcro strap. This comes undone and goes around each of the vertical posts to provide additional security from the cover on the sides. Along the sides, there's magnets at the middle and the bottom to connect to the wood rack vertical pieces and keep a snug fit. On the front of the cover, you'll see the Brio logo and this side can roll up and attach at the top, exposing the wood and still providing protection. An additional note is if you have an expansion kit and a second wood cover to cover everything, you will have a little bit of a different assembly in the middle. Where the two covers connect, there's only two posts, but there's four sleeves. Only two posts will be slid into the sleeves and the other cover is connected to the top of the adjacent cover with a Velcro strap. And the hooks that previously were down on the post are now on the other side of the cover, clipped into some loops to provide extra security on the top of the cover. That's everything you need to know about how to assemble your new Brio wood rack, expansion kit, and cover. If you have any questions at all as you're going through the installation process, don't hesitate to give us a call here at Brio. We'd be happy to help you out.